YouTube. What's going on? It's Lee, Seat Time. Um, and this is going to be our year of review, a little bit late, but nonetheless, here we are. So, what's going on? Um, a lot to talk about, actually. Um, unfortunately, um, the reason why I haven't been posting that much is because I had a death in the family. Um, I lost my mother um, last fall, early, late last summer. And uh, when I first got this in April of last year, um, I was still dealing with um, the complications and all the things associated with her illness. And so I, even though I was happy, uh, I was kind of miserable. And when I got this car, I actually found out that I had COVID actually on the day that I got this car. So if you see the video playback of that particular day, I was sick, but I didn't know it. Um, my family was already sick. Um, on that same day and um, ended up getting um, COVID the day that I already had it, the day that the car was delivered. So that wasn't a good experience. But overall, the experience with the car for the last year has been pretty good. Um, it is a pleasure to drive. Um, uh, and I just wanted to go through some of the things that associated with the ownership of it um, and tell you what some of the new plans are for the channel. Um, obviously, the chain, name of the channel has changed to Seat Time. Um, license to drive was fine, but I think Seat Time is a little bit more appropriate. Um, also coincides with the launch of my new business, Stargazer, Stargazer Media, um, and I'll be talking about that as well. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on with me and the car and the channel. But first, let's talk about the car. So, um, uh, just as a, a reminder, this is a 2016 GT3 RS. Um, it is, um, I believe, a two-owner car. I got it out of Texas, and um, it uh, had uh, 14,000 miles on it. Uh, now that I've driven it for a while, it has around 18,000 miles, which is perfectly fine. Uh, as you know, the first thing I did was got the exhaust put in. put in uh, fast speed headers uh, and the shark came with shark fork exhaust um, then I got the cage done had a cracked windshield unfortunately which was a real bummer uh, first couple of months uh, of ownership then I got um, a flat tire which really really stunk um, I went on some uh, mountain drives um, that we already talked about I met some really cool friends uh, with Project EG and um, those guys are awesome that's my automotive family and um, I just really spent the first half of the year owning the car, halfway hating it because of the way I felt at the time, and then halfway loving it because it was my dream car. It was something that I aspired to have my entire life, and um, it's a true, true blessing to have it. And um, over the winter, uh, I drove it occasionally. You know, you can't really drive cars like this in the winter time, so I used that time to get uh, my first oil change after I got it delivered. Um, um, I Obviously I got it you know, serviced when I first bought it, but I wanted to um, get an oil change in and have it analyzed after my first uh, driving season. So I did that in January. And then um, going to the spring, we got new tires. And then um, most recently, um, and I'll make another video on this, I put uh, Apple CarPlay into the car, which is fantastic. I can't tell you how cool that is because now I feel like I, I'm not losing anything to the Dot Twos and the new 997 uh, RS that just came out. So I really feel good about the car. Um, it's everything I could want and then some, but the icing on the cake is having CarPlay in the car and that's fantastic. And then um, lastly, most recently, I got a helmet and I'm gonna be uh, talking about that in another video as well. But as right now, let's just talk about the car and um, Ultimately, the thing that makes the car so special is the spec. Um, the way that the car was spec is still, hands down, my favorite thing about the car, aside from the color. Um, the stitching, um, contrast stitching. Uh, there's no CXX stuff on the car. It's all factory stuff, but it's just, all the checks are there as far as carbon fiber, illuminated door sills, um, uh, alternating stitching on the um, 
DVA stitching on the uh, seats and dashboard. Um, even the or uh, Lava Orange Alcantara is still cool to me. And at first, I didn't think it would be that cool, but it's actually pretty cool. Um, you see that a lot of times on uh, GT2 RSs, but you don't really see that that much on uh, GT3 RSs. Uh, most people select the uh, dark Alcantara and not the colored Alcantara for their interior. So that made the cars really, really pop. Uh, it is a lot of orange. And if you're not into orange, um, you know, you probably won't like it. But I think that, you know, when the sun hits it just right, like it is right now, it is something to behold. So um, I think that for my purposes, the car did, it did extremely well um, for its first year. Um, no major issues at all. It's been rock solid. Um, and um, as I learned how to drive it and how to engage with it, I really started to enjoy it more. Uh, there's uh, things I learned in mountain driving as far as, you know, I don't even use the paddles, just put it in Sport Plus, slap it in automatic and let it do its thing. And it can shift better than me when you're driving spiritedly. Um, and that's really what makes the car special. You know, it's the way that it makes you feel as a driver. And that is really something. I mean, you got to experience an RS and even, you know, not to take, take anything away from GT3s, but an RS is really, really special. And I'm really glad that I got it. And, um, you know, what do I have plans for it? Um, eventually, we're gonna have to probably do some PPF work in the front because uh, when I bought it, it had some issues. And of course, when you go into the mountains, you get some more uh, nicks and dings, and that's perfectly fine because I intended on getting the PPF done anyway. But the whole car is still PPF, but there's some tweaks that I need to make on it to make it really, uh, to take my OCD <laughs> away. But other than that, the car is in tip-top condition. Brakes are fine, carpet ceramics, beautiful. Um, tires are lovely. I mean, everything about the car is fantastic and I just, I am so blessed to have it. And uh, shout out to Project EG because they are really, really my friends in this. You know, I never ran into a group of people that, that really, really love cars as much as you know we do. And, um, you know, I'm a member of PCA now. I'm also a member of Black Porsche Atlanta. So, I mean, we have, you know, tons of things to do um, for more content on the channel. And um, this summer is going to be great. I'm going to be going places in the car and doing things and going on adventures. And, you know, I'd be love to bring you guys with, the, with me. Um, one special thing though, I need more subscribers. Um, as I try to grow the channel and get to review cars for other brands, one of the things I keep on running into is that I'm not getting enough subscribers. So I need you to just hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, tell people about the channel, just hit the button. You don't have to do anything. Just hit the button, tell your friends, just hit the button. You don't even have to watch the video, just hit the, just hit the subscribe button because I need those subscribers in order to get my hands in seat time in these uh, manufacturer cars because ultimately that's what I like to do. Um, I think that what uh, Stargazer media can do and you know with seat time is really give you guys a really good idea as far as how vehicles apply to us because there's no place out there that looks like me that can get you information on cars there's a lot of other people out there in youtube land but they don't look like me so let's work on that let's get our subscribership up so i can get in front of companies like porsche and get some um, seat time and some of their new products and stuff like that. I would love to be able to do that. And I need your help. I honestly need your help. But I wanna thank you for um, your patronage and um, your patience. Thank you for supporting our channel. Please hit the subscribe button for more great content.